We've got 25 great IB style multiple choice questions on topic four waves. The questions were chosen either because they reflected a very common theme throughout IB exams or because they had challenging content that I thought would deepen your understanding. Question one on oscillations. Pause the video, try the question, come back for the answer. Statement one is really the condition for any sort of oscillation. If you're going to have an oscillation, then there's an equilibrium position where there's no net force. If you're not at that equilibrium position, the force has to drive you back towards equilibrium. So that's correct. Statement two, the force is proportional to the displacement from the equilibrium position. That is really kind of the defining statement for simple harmonic motion. It just means the farther you are from that equilibrium position, the bigger the force is going to be. Statement three, the magnitude of the force is proportional to the speed. No, in fact, you get maximum speed when you have zero force. So that's not true. But the first two statements are true. And so the answer is B. Last but not least, question 25. Pause the video, try the question, come back for the answer. So we've got two polarizers that are perpendicular. Let's suppose the first one's vertically, the second one is horizontally. We're coming in with unpolarized light, the intensity is I naught. Once it goes through that first polarizer, the intensity is going to drop to I zero over two, and it's going to be vertically polarized. So if we rotate this axis by, say, alpha, then the angle between the two axes would be theta here, which would be 90 minus alpha. And the intensity coming out on this side would be the intensity in the middle, I naught over two times the cos squared of 90 degrees minus alpha. And we want to solve for that alpha. So we're going to set this equal to 3 I naught over 8. I naughts are, of course, going to cancel. Multiply both sides by 2, and we'll get that cos squared 90 minus alpha would be equal to 3 quarters. Take the square root of both sides. Cos of 90 minus alpha would be equal to the square root of 3 over 2. Take inverse cosine of both sides. 90 minus alpha equals cos to the minus 1 square root 3 over 2. So alpha here is going to come out to be 90 degrees minus cos to the minus 1 of square root 3 over 2, which is answer C. And that's all for today, folks. Thank you very much.